Well, it's finally here, the very last update for 2021 for The Sims 4. I'll be going over the patch notes and sharing my honest opinions about this update. Before we go ahead and get into that though, my name is Simmer Erin. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation, and info videos, as well as Paralyze. And my question for you today is, have you checked out the new update yet, and what do you generally think about it? So I'm not going to waste your time, I'm just going to go hop right into the patch notes and let's see what this new update does entail. We already know some of this content if you've been checking out my channel or just news in general, but the patch notes do give us some new details. Hello Simmers, hope all is well wherever you are in the world. Simgrove Frost is already listening to Christmas music, I don't know why, I'm still holding off on playing it. I refuse as it is still November, which by the way, I actually decorated the other day and I did play Christmas music. But I digress. Regardless of how I feel about Christmas music being heard everywhere today and not later, the one thing I relish is the excitement this season brings. It's the season we get together with family and cherish whatever time we have with our loved ones, even if only digitally. With an exciting update for you, we introduce neighborhood stories, some tech additions, a few small but eventful things we managed to get into this update. Interesting. Thank you for your continued support and feedback, and remember, have fun. So what's new? So obviously, we've already talked about this in previous times. This is the neighborhood stories. I'm not going to go into much detail about my personal opinions because I've left that on my previous videos, but I will read what they have to say. So Neighborhood Stories is about adding flavor and more life to the neighborhood sims who live outside your active household. As noted in the blog, today's update will focus on sims that are connected to your households only and have a relationship of some kind with them. To start, check out the new socials in the friendly and mean categories. Your sim can try to convince others to make certain life changes and vice versa. Your sim's friends can ask their opinion on pursuing life changes. Two new aspirations complement the stories you will tell. Be the neighborhood confidant if you aspire to be helpful and positive. They will be able to earn a new confidant reward trait, which increases their chance of conversations being pleasant and not at all awkward. Which I will say, that doesn't sound like a great reward to me because I feel like a lot of times everything in Sims 4 does lean pleasant. However, there is a second aspiration, of course, and that is the villainous Valentine, and that's someone who wants to destroy the love lives of all Sims, which personally I think I want to try that one because that sounds most interesting to me. So with this one, you can get the twisted heart trait, which makes all sad and embarrassed moodlets decay faster and provides a little bonus social when performing mean or mischief socials. So you all know if you've been listening to my channel, Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of the emotion system in general, so whenever it's something that's connected to mood lists, I don't get overly excited, but I still think this could be a fun aspiration to play through. Now, as far as this new thing here, and I don't really know much about it, it is the Logitech G Light Sync. Okay, so if you use Logitech G Light Sync enabled mice, keyboards, or headsets on Windows PC, which is definitely not me, you can now experience The Sims 4 in an even immersive experience. You can enable and disable The Sims 4 lighting scheme in game by going to Game Options Other and toggle the Enable Keyboard Dynamic Lighting option. I'll be honest, I don't really have any opinions about this. If anyone has this set up, let me know what you think in the comments below. It says it's going to take on a new color scheme and lighting experience. So last but certainly not least, they took the opportunity to add likes and dislikes for cottage core and the music category for cross-stitching and knitting in the activity section. These were a bit overdue, but I'm glad we were able to add them. We also took the opportunity to update the trait icon for erratic for something more fitting to the trait. And finally, we have added in build mode the through the looking glass window, which was seen in the industrial loft kit. So previously, if you didn't know, they actually put that in debug by accident or someone discovered that. But it is now officially in the game for everyone. There's some controversy around that window. I don't really want to go into it. So let's go into the bug fixes. So the first one, and they have talked about this in terms of kind of helping out with the lag. It says, is your game filling with empty households? We made a fix to clear the empty households when loading the game. So hopefully if anyone was experiencing that problem, it will help with your lag. Let me know if you do experience less lag. 
Your manicure should stand out in a good way. It is part of your ensemble and it can complement an outfit adding personality and finishing the look. But what is not the perfect complement is that your manicure can be part of your outfit, as in literally part of drawing a line across it. So basically there was a glitch with some of the nails and they have fixed that. You are the handiest sim ever known to sims, so much that you can upgrade to add an H2O siphoner outside the area where the toilet is. No longer. As much as we like things fixed magically, this particular upgrade will require your sims to be in direct contact with the toilet. Speaking of handiness, have your sims ever tried to repair their shower tub combos or bathtubs? But not been able to get to them. Now I actually did hear that this was a problem a lot of people were experiencing. I'm not necessarily familiar with it but I do know a lot of people had this error so that's good. Also Sims love baking cakes. I feel like they've been trying to fix this forever. Sims love baking cakes and they love baking and decorating them together with other Sims in a group. They didn't love that they couldn't add toppers or candles to them, so now they can. So now we can add toppers and candles. That's great. But at first I thought they were getting at, I know that some people were still having Sims that are constantly baking cakes. Let me know if you're still having that glitch. Ever had a friend who said they liked something but really didn't and their face showed it? We felt the same with Sims that even though they liked things, they had the dislike thought bubbles. So we made some adjustments and now their thoughts are much in better in sync with their feelings. Getting to know someone can be challenging, especially for people like me, an introvert. Even more so when getting to know someone doesn't reveal their traits. So now when you click the getting to know, you will reveal their traits. Notice some sims doing more of the aha or eureka animations while not being in the scientist career. With this update, the aha movement it does not happen as frequently if your sims are not in the scientist career. Ghosts can now eat ambrosia and become regular sims again. Perfectionist sims will now save their paintings in their inventory instead of starting over even after completing a perfect painting. That's ultra perfectionist. I like knowing tiny bits and facts about people I know and like, but getting like and dislikes messages about sims and households I'm not playing with is not my cup of tea. So I do know that this also was another issue a lot of people were having and maybe that could also contribute to the lag, just a thought. So for get together, the go sledding activity icon has been added. For eco lifestyle, you have several A-OK -okay bloomer vertical plants. You've started to sing to your plants, cared for them, talked to them, and you decided to grow cruelty-free meat, but you realized you couldn't harvest it. We reviewed and made it so that you can harvest from vertical plants. And then also the fabricated floor light is now able to be fabricated. For cottage living. If you're in Hemford on Bagley, even better. Sims that offer a helping hand that are meddling and peddling can now see the perform the encourage to flirt with interaction. Are you going to the fair? Crops, llamas, cows, and chickens. Sims that submit high value items to the fair will now have a better chance of winning. Living in the simple living challenge can be rewarding, except when you can't eat your own onigiri? Seaweed ramen and avocado maki rolls, pardons for the pronunciation. Our designers decided that seaweed shouldn't be the secret ingredient, so now you can make these dishes when living a similar living. For spa day, does your sim desire to be a self-care specialist, but they are having trouble managing to keep regular clients so they never achieve their goal? It should be resolved now, so get it. Realm of Magic, here we are, born to be sims. They are the royalty of the universe, they are immortal. Our sims are inside the immortality potion. They have no rival. No other sim can be their equal. Now the potion works. I realize that whoever's doing this is having a lot of fun with the patch notes and it's somewhat entertaining to read, but half the time I have to go back and reread it to figure out what they're even saying. So for Dream Home Decorator, we adjusted the pay for interior designers in their higher levels. Just when he thought the kleptomaniac sims had met their match, alas no. They really had to go for that kid's tent. What do you do? We fixed that issue on attempt to swipe so the tent would not disappear from the lot. For nifty knitting, sims with autonomy on will now be able to knit when they are not having fun. And then for bust the dust. These adorable but filthy dust bunnies were added again. 
maids didn't have the heart to bust the dust completely and we told them it was okay to do so. So that kind of concludes all the patch notes. I apologize for stumbling. I know this was a little bit lengthy. I think that some of these are pretty decent fixes. I'm really excited to go ahead and check out Neighborhood Stories. I expect there's going to be some problems with the first iteration of Neighborhood Stories. I do hope that it goes well enough and that the next patch will be even better. I know that there are lots of things that were not addressed in this video and a lot of things rather that were not addressed in the bug fixes, but I do think that even little steps can make a big difference over time. And I'm really hopeful that maybe the team is trying to invest more in the base game, especially now that we know Sims 4 is going to go on for a couple more years. Definitely check out my last video if you didn't hear about that news. But on that note, thank you so much for listening to me and I hope everybody had a wonderful day. Bye.